starshine lights my way to bed. Magic rainbows glisten in my head. Just like a child, I live in Wonderland. All my dreams are coming true. Hi and welcome to Handmade by Dixie Tulip. I'm Mel for those of you that don't know me already and welcome to my channel. In today's video I'm going to share with you a jacket that I've made two versions of so far in readiness for the cooler months that are approaching for autumn. It's a great pattern, it's called the Wixton Kimono and I think it's great because you can make it throughout any season in the year. I've seen quite a few kind of springy, summery type versions, but I wanted to make one, um, well, in fact two, out of cosier fabrics uh, ready for autumn. The reason why I chose this pattern is because I didn't want a coat, I didn't want something that I can only put on when I'm going outside, I wanted something that I can throw on in the house as well if, if I uh, want to warm up and I do work in a very very cold office um, that has lots of aircon switched on and I'm always freezing so I thought uh, these are the, the, the perfect solution for that as well. So I've made two versions that I'm going to share today. The first version is a collaboration that I did with Telio Fashion. Telio are a wholesale fabric um, supplier, so they don't supply directly to um, home sewers such as me and, and you, uh, but they do have a variety, a, a wide variety of beautiful fabrics available. So when they contacted me to see if I was interested in collaborating, I, it, it, it was perfect, yeah, couldn't, couldn't wait to, to try out some of those fabrics. The fabric that I chose is a, um, tweed, I couldn't think what it was called then, um, a lovely uh, pink tweed which I'll show you in a second. It's got uh, lots of different fabrics, it's got ribbon, it's got wool, it's got sparkles, it's got uh, sequins, uh, there's all sorts of um, nice fabrics which are, um, or thread should I say, which are woven together to make this lovely tweed. Um, it's super soft and um, it's not really really heavyweight either so it makes it um, uh, quite comfortable in the type of jacket that I've made. What I'll do first of all is I'll just um, drop in a couple of photos so you can see what the jacket is like being worn. All my dreams are coming, all my dreams are humming, all my dreams are coming true. And this is it in the real flesh, so I will bring it in and show you this uh, lovely fabric in close detail in just a moment. So when uh, Talio, I hope I'm saying that right, uh, when Talio did contact me for the collaboration, I was actually on holiday in Greece and it was red hot, it was about 38 degrees, but I knew that I didn't really want to make any more summer clothes. I wanted to start focusing on my autumn stroke winter wardrobe because I thought anything summer related just isn't gonna get enough wear out of it now. Um, so I asked them to provide me with the details of what woolen type fabrics they'd got in their stock and they did and uh, this is the fabric that I chose. So what I'm going to do before I tell you a bit more about this, I did film the fabric prior to cutting it so that I could show you exactly uh, what it was like so I'm just going to skip over to that video. Okay so just to show you these fabrics before I cut into them, so this is the lovely tweed fabric, um, it's got loads of different colours running through it but it's um, kind of in the uh, shades of pink which as you know is my favourite um, and it has got um, some metallic threads running through it and it's got some little shiny sequins as well so I'll bring it in closer and show you in a second um, but it is nice and drapey it's nice and soft as well it's not um, itchy in the slightest um, not quite sure how it's going to be yet to cut because I think I will get a lot of fraying but I will keep you posted about that. Let me just come in and show you the detail. So you can see it's got um, lots of different threads running through the weave and if you can see there, there we go, if you can see you've got tiny little sequins. 
that just has a little bit of sparkle as well. Okay, so I hope that gave you um, a better view of what the fabric was like before I cut into it. So the fabric was uh, lovely to work with actually. It was really easy to cut. It was really easy to sew. The only thing to be mindful of is it's quite messy. So you do end up with kind of bits of fabric flying everywhere and sequins flying everywhere. Um, but it certainly wasn't difficult to work with. It does fray quite a bit as well, so it's quite an open weave with it being a tweed. So what I did do is, once I'd cut the fabric pieces out, I just whizzed the edges through the overlocker to stop them from fraying, and, and I found that did help uh, quite a bit. So you don't really need to overlock this because it's fully lined, there's no um, seams which are on show, but I didn't want to lose too much of the fabric through fraying. So this is, the pattern is made to be reversible but of course I'm not going to wear this reversed because I'm not going to want this type of fabric um, on the inside and what I lined it with is a Liberty of London Torn Alone, just quite a neutral uh, white and grey colour, it's actually got feathers on, I'll bring it in close and show you in a second and I got this super cheap last year from Abacan, it was £5 a metre so I did stock up on about 4 metres of it so that I got it in ready for lining so let me just come in and show you this in a little bit more detail okay so you can see that it has a huge collar not sure if you can see how deep that collar is but it starts there that's where the collar starts and you kind of fold that in half it's got super deep pockets and it's got sleeves that you can fold back so I really like that look where you can see a bit of the lining on the outside So that's the lining that I've used, so as I say it's a torn alone and it's quite neutral um, and it's got feathers printed onto it. And I just love how it kind of glistens in the light, you've got tiny, those tiny little sequins. Just give you that glisten. So that's the first version that I made. The pattern is really easy to sew. Um, it's a kimono style so it's very much straight lines and the instructions were really really good as well. Uh, what I really like about this is the dropped shoulders so the shoulder seam is actually there so you've only kind of got a small sleeve piece. So I really like that shape, I like how it kind of drapes off the shoulders when you're wearing it. I did make one mistake when I was sewing this but that was purely my fault for sewing with a hangover. I know that's the golden rule of sewing, never sew with a hangover but I did um, and I'd sewed the uh, side seam uh, wrong side to wrong side rather than right side to right side and this was an absolute nightmare to one pick. Um, if you can imagine, you, can try, you, you couldn't even see the stitches to be honest so it was so difficult to find where the stitches were um, and then it was causing the fabric to kind of unthread um, around itself so um, yes if you are using this fabric don't sew with a hangover don't make the same mistake as I did if you are interested in this fabric um, it is available from I think it's called fabric.com so I will put a link in the uh, video notes if it's still available at the time that I publish this video I will put a link in um, so you can uh, check out somewhere to buy this from. So yeah I absolutely love this. The next version that I made is from a beautiful 100% wool plaid fabric that I'd got. Just insert a few photos so you can see what this one looks All like. My dreams are All my dreams are humming. So it's exactly the same jacket, exactly the same pattern, exactly the same lining um, but you get a totally different look with, with this because 
it's a totally different fabric. So this is heavier weight um, and the key difference was on the, the, the pattern isn't made to have a true hem because it's made to be reversible. But what I found with this heavier weight one is it didn't sit right at the back without a proper hem. It needed that weight to pull it down. So with this one, I mean, I'm never gonna wear it reversed anyway. Um, so I did kind of finish it with a proper hem at the bottom. I was really pleased with my pattern matching as well. So let me just show you. I had two meters of this wool, so I wasn't sure whether I'd be able to pattern match, but I did. So where's the side seam? I can't even find it, it's there. So the side seam's running down there. So the, it, the um, horizontal plates match all the way through. And then on the collar as well, let me just check if I've got it sitting straight. So yeah, horizontally on the collar as well. It pattern matched pretty well. I'll just bring this in to show you. So that is this version. It's a lovely quality wool. It's lined with the feather torn alone. So I definitely recommend this pattern. Um, as I said, the instructions were really easy to follow. Um, I'll see if I can do a screen recording and just show you what the instructions are like because I've not done that on the last couple of videos because I've had a, bit, a couple of issues with my computer but fingers crossed um, it's working so I'll see if I can show you the PDF pattern. If I was able to I'll insert that now. If it doesn't appear then you know I couldn't get it to work. Um, so yeah I, I would definitely recommend it. The only thing I would say I thought the PDF pattern was a little bit overpriced. It was actually only um, slightly cheaper to get the PDF pattern than it was to get the paper pattern, which is quite unusual. And tax did get added on as well when I checked out. So I did think it came up a little bit pricey for a PDF pattern, but um, definitely worth it for me because I know I will make this over and over again because in spring and summer I'll make it out of some nice linens and make it the true reversible um, jacket then, so using kind of two different colours on either side. So that is it. I just wanted to share with you my this, the start of my uh, winter autumn jackets. I think I'm going to make loads of jackets this year. Uh, that's what I seem to be uh, drawn towards. Uh, lots of pinafore type dresses uh, over turtleneck sweaters like what I'm wearing now and loads of jackets. So I'll keep you posted with what else I make. If you've made a version of the Wixton kimono, do leave a link uh, below in the comments with any blog posts or uh, pictures that you've got to share them. I'd love to see them, especially more kind of spring summer versions for when I come to plan those later in the year or early next year. So thank you again to Talio Fashion for um, gifting that lovely fabric to me. Um, I have written a blog post um, specifically for the collaboration with Talio. So again, I'll put a link in the show notes on this video. So be sure to check that out. So have a wonderful week, whatever you're up to, and I will see you very soon. Just like a child, I live in Wonderland. All my dreams are coming true. Heavy shackles used to hold me down. Now my feet don't even reach the ground. Just like